Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hot C, and welcome back to Factorio, my beltless series, where we do everything with trains. Uh, today, I want to focus a bit on uh, uh, sulfur and what we can do with it, because for once. Uh, this is the last station where we have this weird setup with uh, pick up one, pick up two. Don't really need that. Uh, we can just move things along. Uh, maybe even only have one station in here, but then have uh, uh, the chemical plants on both sides so we can load the train even faster but then um, if we are looking at what we can do with sulfur um, aside from converting it into sulfuric acid which we are doing over there um, we can make explosives uh, with a bit of coal and uh, and water and from explosives we then get cliff explosives and that's the goal for this episode hopefully it will not take us uh, the whole episode so we can continue with restructuring our base uh, last time or in between I put in the uh, set up for uh, a purple science uh, uh, same as we have for the yellow science then I think all our smelting setups in here they will disappear once we have mined off uh, this iron patch and this uh, copper patch because on the other patches that we have here, there are we are directly uh, mining. And maybe we need a similar setup here for stone bricks. Uh, then we can also get rid of that even sooner. And all our other stations uh, I want to transition to this setup here so that we have always these uh, these large squares and um, can also produce uh, materials in, in higher quantities even if the production process takes a bit longer. But let's start with uh, with this one here. Um, this is the entry. Um, if we remove that one, that one, and do this. So that should, yes, that connects. So now we have pickup station one. So let's for one replace this with that. And then we will just have the same thing on the other side as well. Um, we don't need these ones. And we will move all the sulfur that we have there over to here. So 
something doesn't seem quite right because I have a bit too much sulfur in here. So let's add the station stair. can put the surplus in here or most of the surplus and then we shall have water is two out this we'll connect it there here we need to connect all good And then we need more red wire. We want to have one of these. Oh, actually, here we need the green wire. Connect to there. If we have more copper, that, uh, more sulfur, then 2000, then send out the signal L, set the train limit. That should actually let's disconnect the red wire. Ah, and let's disconnect this one and connect here. Now that works. And we have a bit too much sulfuric acid here on the side. So we will leave these chests open or we'll let them sit here and we will then fill up those ones down there um, once we need that so we can clean up everything here on this side don't need that don't need that actually I could do it that way don't even need this. We don't need that part. Ah, oh. I do need the water there. Water comes from here. Sulfuric acid comes. Uh, the drilling comes from there. Then let's pack up the rails here we 
don't need add line anymore. Right? Because we're coming in from there, we're going out there. And we don't need these ones. Nice. So what we then probably will need is a waiting bay for sulfur. Because up to this point we had probably always enough trains or train stops uh, open for our two sulfur trains. So let's add that waiting stop in here. Um, waiting sulfur, there it is. And put that here on top. Sulfur. Then here we make that 500 and remove this station. And then we will do the same thing for the second one, for the second train. Uh, waiting sulfur. Is it oh, abating sulfur, not waiting sulfur? We'll move that up to here. Here we want to load 500. Remove that station. Great. So now we can go ahead up here where we have a bit of uh, uh, space room and place another square where we will deal with sulfur products and we will do that in a similar fashion as we did here for this uh, this small which still has not received enough uh, materials uh, to uh, get everything through maybe problem is we have 800 yellow inserters here uh, so that blocks everything else from coming through so maybe we need to find a way around that uh, before we can see anything uh, out of that but let's see um, We would probably have a square. This would be one, this would be one. So um, this would be the right one. Yeah, so let's place in the, the rails and everything else. And then we can think of a design to put in there. All done here. And I think we will go with a, with a slightly um, a different setup here. Um, seeing that basically for the cliff explosives we need the explosives which we can create in place we do have a factory for grenades and we will create the barrels also in place because barrels we will only use for cliff explosives they don't have another use in this run so we will have one unloading station for the steel and the grenades and then uh, for the uh, explosives we will have another unloading stations for coal and sulfur so and 
we do not need to have these uh, materials in high quantities so let's have the station here um, name that um, explosives delivery uh, train limit one just in case don't need those rail pieces we need a bit of signaling uh, down here when we are coming in maybe here yeah and then a signal opposite when going out right so then we can have actually this probably wants to be filter inserters um, we want to have coal we want to have sulfur and then that's That will not work. Nope. Let's turn this around. Oh, actually, that would work. That would work. Can connect that like so. And I can then. have something like this going on nice so we do have water somewhere nearby I presume so let's take this to there and then here above the coal field let's go over and down because we had water where we created the uh, the sulfur which is here so let's move everything one over and it's neatly aligned pieces so that water can actually flow and then there at the top we need one more and let's have station like this nice and then basically from here we need another unloading station We have the 
it here. So let's do steel here. Steel, steel, steel. Then we need here this one. We can have this that way. And here we would then have the grenades. Goes in here, 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 and here we have the barrels. Barrels, grenades, and then we need to have an output. That's it. It's that simple. Now we only need two trains and this might be the difficult part because we are not producing anything in our mall. And the problem here, as indicated, is the chests are running full. What we could do here is have a car, have a filter on the car, um, and then use the trunk of the car instead of uh, of the chests and a car has a bit a different hitbox so um, we would need to work around that top here we are not full that's that's good but here we can see we are getting full and we should have uh, basically three different items in here and then we need for the car trunk unfortunately we need to set up all these uh, auto slots otherwise we would fill in the auto slots with uh, any material that comes along and that's not what we actually want so let me quickly change this setup here and then we can see if we can actually get some uh, trains out of this factory because i think um oh, actually this would be a faster method filling in the fish one fish per slot and then I can just click on the slot with the middle mouse button setting the filter and hopefully I can copy right now I have replaced the chests where we have more than one item in with uh, cars, which is a bit of a weird um, use of cars, but I am mainly not using the cars because they have a different hitbox, so uh, basically they are too wide, uh, but because I can set filters on it to ensure that we do not get too many items uh, in the line here. And here we still have some issues. We have not yet managed to uh, 
pass um, the iron down uh, because we are still filling up on the the iron gears and what can happen is that you have an uh, inserter uh, that has something in its hand but cannot insert it in here because the stack is full and if we then have an empty stack yeah that does not work because then this stack would never be filled but now we can see we are passing iron down actually here we do not need the iron which means we do not need it on this filter either okay we are producing reds we are producing the blue ones and the blue inserters are also put back in here because we need them for those and we already uh, manufactured two stack inserters so that tells me this setup is working and we have some more uh, locomotives uh, I need four because we need two trains uh, two wagons and then let's quickly set up the, the two trains that we need for uh, for the delivery so um, the first one uh, that's sulfuric acid uh, no not that uh, not the acid the the solid stuff so we will have waiting sulfur uh, then uh, we have the sulfur station uh, then we want to have waiting coal and the coal field coal field and then we go to uh, Uh, what was it explosive delivery yes and then we have fueling right and then the same thing for the other train um, I will do that real quick and uh, then we shall have a final look how the orders look two trains are sitting here one for the uh, actual explosives where we have a thousand sulfur and a thousand coal producing uh, the explosives and then the other one we have a thousand steel for the barrels plus a thousand grenades for the cliff explosives that's also the right combination and then let's just send these trains off i also added a station for uh, waiting for grenades because i guess uh, we will um, spend quite a bit of time uh, rebuilding all these stations that are uh, just small and um, do not live up to uh, our standard but that's definitely a topic for another episode because we are the end of this one hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider leaving a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next one and I will see you then. Goodbye.